Hi, it's Eric, and welcome to our video conversation this week. It's spring break time, of course, in Minnesota, and a lot of Minnesota families have been coming to visit uh, the nation's capital, where I'm actually standing right now. We had a couple of uh, student groups that came in also from Salem Lutheran in the Greenfield area, and also St. John's Lutheran from the Corcoran Maple Grove area that took the time to come to visit. It's always fun to meet with students as the eighth graders that uh, came out to our nation's capital. We're going to jump into our questions, though. We also heard from some students that we chose for our questions this week. The first comes from Jack, who's a Boy Scout in Maple Grove. And Jack emailed in. He says, Congressman Paulson, I'm a 13-year-old Boy Scout working on my citizenship in the nation merit badge for my Life Scout rank. One of the requirements is to share your views on a national issue. I'm wondering what you think should be done about the current events in the Ukraine. I understand there's an economic view on these issues in that area that can affect the stock market. Even with these issues that could possibly affect the United States, I and many others believe that any action, if taken, should be done with, very, with a lot of great care. Of course, I don't know a lot of the specifics, which is why I'd like to hear back from you. Sincerely, Jack. Well, Jack, thanks for writing in and good luck on your merit badge. First of all, just a few weeks ago, as many people know, Russia illegally invaded its neighboring country, the Ukraine, and the next part of that country, the Crimea area, into a part of Russia now. This is something that has not really happened since the World War II era, and it's something the international community definitely needs to respond to. In the House, we've actually passed some sanctions that we're moving forward, economic sanctions, trade sanctions. We need to look at the short-term opportunities and the long-term opportunities to making sure that we're working with our European allies and the entire international community to let Russia know that these types of actions cannot stand in today's world. Jimmy also in Minatrista emailed and he says, Dear Eric Paulson, my name is Jimmy and I'm 14 years old and I'd like to ask you about making a balanced budget. I believe that our future would be a lot better if we could have a balanced budget. I love living here in the United States and Minnesota. Keep up the good work, but just think about having a balanced budget and how it would offer so much more. Thanks, Jimmy. Jimmy, thanks for also taking the time to write in. It's great to hear from students. You know, you're right on track. And I do believe that Washington needs to be fiscally responsible. The fact is you can't keep spending more money than you're taking in. In the House, we have focused attention on making sure we're on a path to balancing our budget. We can't do so right away because the $17 trillion national debt has put us in a very precarious situation. But we can get there in the long term if we focus our mind and energy on it. That's going to make it a better future for all of us. I agree with you. We can't keep borrowing 40 cents of every federal dollar that we spend. That's unsustainable. And that's why I'm committed to fiscal discipline. I want to thank everyone that took the time to write in with their thoughts and their questions this week. Send in your question on my Twitter account, on Facebook, or of course you can reach me on the website at paulson.house.gov. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.